let's talk about a fundamental option for God. Now, what is that? Well, a fundamental option has to do with making a decision that my life is for God. That's who I am. That's what I'm going to do with my life. No matter what happens, I know one thing is for sure. I'm going to live for God and his will for me. I want to talk a little bit about how St. Peter, the first pope, uh, lived this fundamental option for God. Do you remember when uh, Jesus asked Peter, who do you say that I am? It's in Matthew chapter 17. He says, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then Jesus replied to him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, because there was no human agency that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. We're talking here about the grace of God in Peter's life that allowed him to make a fundamental existential option for God. Now, we know that this happened because later on in Peter's life, even after he had already proclaimed his faith in Jesus, he ended up denying that same Lord that he believed in. He denied him three times at a moment in which Jesus was most in need. And yet, even though he did that, he came around. It's called repentance. You know, when we've made a fundamental option for God, and we've made it at the depth of our soul, and when we've received the grace of God in our lives to do that, that's called conversion, well, no matter, no matter what happens, no matter what sin we commit, by the grace of God, we're going to be able to go back and say, you know what, that wasn't me. That wasn't me at my best. That's not who I am. I am a son of God. I'm a daughter of God. I have made a fundamental option for God. Maybe you've never heard of this in your parish or from the pulpit, but I just have seen so often that a person who has not yet made that choice you know, who has not either accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, as the evangelicals often say, or done it in some other way, just made a deep-down decision that this is who I am going to live for, that this is who I am, and then receive that special grace. Well, then tough times come, and ah, you know, I don't have so much faith anymore. I'm not going to be able to get through this, this tough time and still hold on to my faith. Someone like Peter who was a deep sinner, that's for sure, denying the Lord even as he was the first pope. Well, he loved God so much, so deep down, he had made that fundamental option that he was able to start again. And that's what you and I are called to do as Christians, as followers of Christ. And you know what? Maybe that's why Jesus trusted him. Not because he knew he was going to be perfect. No, but because he knew he would always come back to the core of who he was because he had made a fundamental option for God. For more videos like this on the Christian life, I invite you to go to www.christophers.org. I'm Father Jonathan Morris, and God bless you.